Highlander season eight just wrapped up filming, and now we have a lot of information on how the series will come to an end after all these years. So without further ado, let's dive in. Season eight of Outlander might be the most significant chapter in the show's journey, marking not just the culmination of the Fraser family's story, but also the end of a beloved era for us, the fans. Since its debut, Outlander has captivated us with its unique blend of historical drama, romance, and time travel. The journey so far has taken Jamie and Claire Fraser through wars, political upheavals, personal tragedies, and passionate love. And now it is time to wrap all these storylines up. The question is, how will all these things come to an end? Well, I just have the answer to that. This season is anticipated not only because it's the final season, but also because of the adaptation of Go Tell the Bees that I Am Gone, the ninth book in Diana Gabaldon's series, which the show will closely follow. Fans of the books are eager to see how certain key events will be portrayed, particularly the final resolution of Jamie and Claire's story, which involves themes of aging, legacy, and potentially death. Why are you so excited about season eight of Outlander? Let me know in the comments below. Still, we cannot deny that what makes this season even more poignant is the fact that, unlike previous seasons where the stakes were high but with a sense of continuity, season eight is truly the end. Before we reach season eight, we still have to experience the second half of Outlander season seven though, which is expected to premiere in November, 2024. Season seven part two is crucial because it sets the stage for the climactic events of the final season. The storyline will primarily focus on the seventh and eighth books of Diana Gabaldon's series, An Echo in the Bone, and written in my own heart's blood. One of the major plot points to watch for in season seven part two is the resolution of Roger and Bree's quest to rescue their son, Jemmy, after his kidnapping by Rob Cameron. This storyline introduces intense stakes as Roger and Buck McKenzie travel back in time to save Jemmy, and the emotional toll on Bree, left behind, is bound to be heartbreaking. Roger's journey to the past and the potential ramifications could drastically shape the family's future, setting the emotional tone for the final season. Meanwhile, Jamie and Claire are on their own intense journey, returning to Scotland to bury Simon Fraser and possibly getting entangled in more personal and political drama. The action in season seven, part two, is expected to shift back to their ancestral home, Lallybroch, a location deeply tied to the Fraser legacy. The return to Scotland opens the door for past characters to re-enter the narrative, including Jamie's ex-wife, Logare, and her unresolved issues with Jamie and Claire. Expect heavy tension, especially with Logare back in the mix. Which storyline in season seven part two is more thrilling in your opinion? Can't wait to hear your thoughts about it. After all these, we will end up welcoming a banger of an eighth season. One thing that is important about season eight is that it will introduce several new characters that promise to shake up the series dynamic. One of the most exciting is Amaranthus Gray, portrayed by Carla Woodcock. In the books, Amaranthus is a complex character who becomes romantically involved with William, Jamie's illegitimate son, bringing new layers of tension and family dynamics to the series. Given her connection to Lord John Gray, Amaranthus's presence will further intertwine the fates of these beloved characters. Another major addition is Frances Tomalty as Elspeth Cunningham, whose relationship with Claire evolves from initial tension to a more complicated bond. Elspeth's warning about her son Charles Cunningham's dangerous plans plays a critical role in the unfolding drama. Charles, played by Kieran Bew, adds a new political dimension to the final season. As a British army captain loyal to the crown, his ideological conflict with Jamie is bound to lead to high stakes confrontations. The introduction of these characters, particularly as the series enters its final stretch, ensures that the narrative remains fresh and unpredictable, even for longtime fans who know the general arc from the books. Do you like it when Outlander takes its own route in TV show and differentiates itself from the books? Or do you think it should be strictly loyal to the books? Let me know in the comments. One of the things that has kept us, the Outlander fans excited during the wait for season eight is the steady stream of behind the scenes updates. The cast, including Sam Hewen and Katrina Balfe, has been active on social media, sharing glimpses of the final table read and set photos, and even recently celebrating the milestone of filming the 100th episode. The return of key cast members like David Barry, Charles Vandervart, and Carla Woodcock in full period costume has only added to the excitement. Interestingly though, despite a lot of things going on with season eight, one of the most talked about changes for season eight is Jamie's new wig. Fans have been quick to notice the updated look with Jamie's flowing red locks now more prominent. 
This change sparked discussions across social media, with many of you guys expressing relief that Jamie's hair was returning to its original iconic look from the earlier seasons. As I briefly mentioned before, Stars has confirmed that season seven part two will begin airing on November 22nd, 2024, with weekly episodes leading to a finale on January 3rd, 2025. I feel like this timing is perfect for us, giving them something to look forward to during the holiday season. Even though we are mostly excited about season eight, season seven part two still has a lot of exciting moments pending for us. The return of beloved characters like Dougal Mackenzie and Gillis Duncan, despite their deaths earlier in the series, has sparked speculation online, raising questions like, could time travel bring them back? Or are they simply flashbacks? Either way, their reappearance will add depth and nostalgia to the second half of season seven. As we prepare for season eight, it's clear that Outlander will go out with a bang. With a mixture of emotional resolutions, returning characters, and new faces, the final season promises to deliver everything fans have been waiting for. Closure, excitement, and a fitting end to one of television's most epic love stories. As we near the end, what excites you most? Let me know in the comments. For more content on Outlander, make sure to like and follow. For a detailed update on the upcoming Outlander prequel series, watch the video on the screen.